I'm Ice Cream, and in 2021, I got the chance to interview the at the real genre defying artist Earth Eater during her artist residency in the Cayman Islands. She has stunned the avant garde world with her frighteningly angelic voice, post apocalyptic productions, and twistedly glam fashion. Let's visit her world together. Hey! How are you doing? I'm good. Oh, I can see the reflection of like your paradise behind you. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my god. It's the Cayman Islands, right? Yeah. They, I'm just, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm spoiled. Yeah. I remember fantasizing about this type of stuff. With this residency, are you planning on doing a new uh, work of art too? Yeah, de definitely. My next album is going to be very, very electronic. Inspired by the beach, glistening sunlight on water and like if the sand was diamond dust and just like really get into a dream state, yeah. I like the idea that people will party with this stuff. Um, I also feel like Trinity, my album Trinity needed a buddy. <laughs> it needed a friend. I know, like, I've been following you for a while. I know you really like rap and hip hop. Like, what songs yeah. have you been listening to? Well, I've been listening to a lot of Nicki recently. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to be violent, but if Nicki wanted a slap, ho. Uh, well, Baby Africa, Ooh. Baby Mama Coochie. What's next? You stick it in, then you have me throwing up a set. You say I sucked it too good, I'm the best. These niggas playing, but I'm really from the wood. Love her, she's so good. Uh, obviously, Paselu. Do you do DJ sets? I'm more of a selector, but I'm not like making complex blends or anything, you know? Mm -hmm. I stay in my lane. I'm like, I'm the producer, musician, you're the DJ, you know? <laughs> Girl, you don't stay in your lane. You stay on like Thierry Mugler's uh, fashion show. Oh. <laughs> It's like, did you see it at the same time as uh, the rest of us? Yeah, I saw the video the day that it dropped and I was just completely overwhelmed. I couldn't believe it. I was, yeah, it blew me away. I couldn't, I was, God, I, I was literally like, oh my God, I can't believe it. You're very sexy, if I can say that, and self-affirmed. <laughs> Thank you. Is there a difference between your performance versus your personal style and exhibition and feelings, you know? Yeah, it's, fashion is so fun for me. Like, yeah. it's, I've always been into it. Like I grew up in the countryside, you know, where there wasn't anything. And I had three brothers and a mother that wasn't glamorous at all. Oh yeah. Um, and so whenever I would like end up at some place where I could get my hands on a glossy fashion magazine, I would just, I loved it. I remember like secretly just <laughs> flipping each page and just like, just, and I was like, I, I would like fantasize like, I want to be in this mag. I want to be in the yeah. magazine one day, you know. Check the water on. Yeah. Go to bed for dinner. Yeah. Watch me wine. Yeah. How did you get into the contemporary art and high fashion scene? I guess, you know, it's all about building your smoke signal. You know, I think the, the sort of the short answer is just having worked on this music for so long and just plotting, 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 never giving up and never expecting anything. Because if you're expecting stuff too soon, you're going to get discouraged and you're gonna burn out. Yeah. So, you know, I just would kept doing things for myself. After a certain time, people really notice a, a, an artist that is being serious. And I think that I was presenting seriousness at a certain point, you know. I need very little 
world, but I want the world. I want everything. So this is my mood, you know? <laughs> I'm like, I'm open. <laughs> sure, give me a luxury suite in the Caymans for an indefinite amount of time. Let's go. Love it. <laughs> but what? But also, like right before this, I was, you know, living in a tiny, shitty apartment with like, you know, tons of other people. <laughs> so your vocals yeah. are like, you know, everything and like they're very raw angelic what is the post-production for that like how do you keep the integrity of your vocals and your sound i love i love feeling that contrast you know i don't want anything to be too clean because then you lose the soul but also i want things to sound angelic so you can feel the sort of like magic of it so it's always like a balance you know balance between these things I watched Bambi recently and it's such a beautiful movie. It's really sad and it's gorgeous. Um, Bambi incited the first major environmental movement in the United States and it was also an anti-firearms movie. It came out right after Pearl Harbor. And it was sort of like almost anti-human in a way because it was the humans were depicted very in a very evil light. Yeah. And um, and we are pretty fucking evil. And the animals reaped massive consequences of human insensitive bullshit. And. Um, I don't know. It's just actually a very politically and environmentally poignant movie disguised as a little children's film. Okay. Bye! <laughs>